All right, so one of my friend asked me to determine the quantity of an embankment, okay? It is the same thing like this one, okay? He has sent the parameters, and now let me just draw the diagram if I can draw it better, okay? He has just demanded, you can say, to determine the quantity of an embankment, which is the same thing, okay? Embankment means just filling, maybe a bank for the road, maybe a bank for the railway trail, does not matter, okay? So, he has asked me to determine the quantity of earthwork for the same embankment, which is 120 meters long. Now, the side slope he has just mentioned, they are 3 ratio 1, okay, and 3 ratio 1 for the other side. Okay, this is a positive point, so we can do it in short time, okay? Now, let's just determine the earthwork quantity for the same embankment. Now, he has also mentioned that the formation bed, and let's say this is initial, natural surface level, and this is the formation bed, which is actually 10 meters. Over there we have 10 meters. Now, the depth at this section, you can say D1, okay, that is 80 centimeters, okay? Now, at that section, the depth is actually different, which is 1.50 meters, okay? This is actually 0 0.8 meters, the same thing does not matter, okay? So, this is the overall data. Now, he has also demanded to determine the quantity of the same bank, okay, by using the mean depth method, okay? Mean depth method. It means, this is going to be so simple. Mean depth means, as you can see, we have different depths, okay? At this section, at that section. So we have to take depth at this section, you can say. We're here, something we're here. Let's say this is D, okay? At the center, you can say. Now, at the center, the mean depth can be actually, you can say, we're gonna add one depth with another, and then we will divide that by two, okay? Let's just put values over here. You can say D1, the depth at the start, that is 0 0.8, okay, meters, plus this depth, which is 1.50 meters, and we're going to divide that by 2. So we can have the mean depth, which is going to be 1.15 meters. Okay, up to this point, it's so simple. Now, the, the quantity can be actually the cross-sectional area times the length. Okay, however, the cross-sectional area can be taken is the sectional area at the middle portion, you can say, over here, somewhere here. Okay, you can say, maybe like that. Okay, so this is the middle section. That's why we, we just determined the mean depth, okay? And this is, you can say, if I draw the same section, which is actually trapezium section over here, this is going to be the same thing like this one, okay? Okay, so, so we have a, a, a new diagram, okay? This is 10 meters, this is 3 ratio 1, this one is 3 ratio 1, okay? And the depth that is known, which is actually, you can say, 1.15 meters, okay? That's already been determined, okay? Just a few seconds ago, if you remember, we were here, okay? Now, let's just determine this area. You can say the earthwork can be the area times the, the length, which is that thing. However, the area, that's a little bit confusing. We will split the same diagram. Okay, the same process. However, this is a rectangular portion. As you can see, this is the top width. Okay, so we can just do the rectangular portion by BD. Okay, D means the depth of the same embankment or section, you can say. Okay, however, for the sides, as you can see, this is a, you can say a triangle. So we can use SD squared divided by two for one side and for the other side, it's d squared divided by 2. Okay? Oops. No problem. Okay. As you can see, the side slopes are the same. You can say they are not different. So, we're going to add these both areas. That's why we can have sd squared only. Okay? Now, it's so simple. Okay? You're going to put values over here. Like you can say the cross-sectional area. The area can be now bd okay plus sd square so simple okay so let's put videos over here like we can say bd b is 10 
the depth which is 1.15 again like this one and plus s which is actually the side slope and that is 3 now d there's also 1.15 square okay now we're gonna just add the these two parameters you can say these two areas and that was gonna be actually you can say 15 point four six seven five square meter okay so we get the area now we can easily determine the the one you can say the earthwork okay the area that is 15.4675 times the length which is 120 so we have the earthwork which is going to be you can say 1856.1 cubic meter that's so simple okay so this is how we can determine the quantity of an embankment you can also convert this into cubic feet okay maybe let me just do it over here okay the earthwork that is 1856.1 we can multiply this with 35.32 okay because one cubic meter is the same thing as 35.32 cubic feet okay so once you multiply those two things you can say these things you're going to have 6 triple 5 say 1.45 cubic feet okay so we have two answer okay one in cubic feet this thing and one over here in cubic meter okay so so this is based on the mean depth method in the next video we're going to determine the same quantity you can say the same uh you can say you will solve the same uh problem okay using the mean area method For that, let's wait for the next video.